are having a friend over and she has three girls and uh, they all uh, play hide and seek or like tag or anything that they could come up with and they love uh, just hanging out with each other and that's a good thing for our boys and they're not that far away either so it's not that hard to make plans and uh, yeah he's very excited and he's been asking for them to come over for a while now and we're, uh, today we're going to show you how we handle a birthday party with food allergies in this house. Oh! Uh, what happened to the cake? Oh, I put too much batter in there. It's okay. It's a Lego, dude! Well, it's on the other side. Yeah. You guys will see it after. I took Daddy's camera and I want to show you guys something. No, that's not the. That's that's Edward. Oh. Yeah. Uh, oh. And then, um, what's his name again? Edward. Edward. To. Emily. Toby. Emily. Gordon. Um, Stephen. I don't even know what to say now. Diesel ten. Uh, who else? Do Spencer. Uh, um, whatever these are. Uh, um, their names. Um, who else is there? I know. Uh, no one. I'll say no names of. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little video that Eli made about all his trains. We we did one a long time ago. It was, I think, the first video I ever put up on this channel. And it has 33,000 views, I think. So if you guys want to go check it out, I'll put a link description down below. So, yes, Sam was uh, seven years old when he recorded that video. So it, it was one of the first YouTube videos I did. Uh, actually, not true because I had other channels, but... It weren't really like this. Yeah. 
it was around 6 a.m. Um, Happy birthday. I was six when we were at the hospital. We had to wait, and I was six while we were waiting. Yeah. Yeah. That was a long night, huh? Yeah, I had to drink for an hour or something. Mm. I don't know what was. Something to help you? I guess. He said I have a tummy ache. I put some oils on him. We have a digest blend. Usually helps. But you know, 20 minutes later, all I hear is him emptying his stomach. It was just coming back up nonstop. Um, he looked really pale. He didn't look good. So we took him to the, to the hospital. And um, I waited. We were there, what, 11.45-ish? Yeah, we got there about like 11.30, 11.45. Didn't see anybody. Went to, to triage at like 2.40, and then didn't see a doctor till 4.30 in the morning. Yeah. Uh, didn't sleep, it was bad. Um, at at 4.30 he says, okay, well, um, I don't think it's strep, he doesn't have uh, anything in, in his mouth, blah, blah, blah. I said, well, he's had strep every year since he was like one and a half, and every time it starts like this. No other symptoms, he just starts vomiting nonstop. And Sam had strep two, two weeks ago. It's going around school, I got a letter saying your child was probably in contact with the strep infection, blah, blah, blah. So I'm pretty certain that's what it is. And he says, well, no, I don't see it, and I'm not sure that's what it is, but I still want him to be able to drink something before he leaves. So I had to syringe feed him uh, 10 mLs of juice every three minutes for an hour. That was long. <laughs> so every three minutes, take the syringe, feed him 10 for an hour. Uh, at 5.30, um, they finally call us back. He says, okay, well, you know, he hasn't vomited again. Seems to be doing okay. They had given him uh, anti-nausea, like, no uh, anti-vomiting thing. Um, sent us back home, said, oh, and we don't normally uh, treat strep, uh, strep anymore unless there is actual uh, very dangerous symptoms like uh, rheumatic fever or um, things like that once it uh, affects the brain. But that's not what I read, and I know my son is prone to having uh, pretty bad reactions with strep. Like, he gets very emotional, and the first time he had, it was like night and day the next day. Uh, he wasn't the same child, like, at all. Uh, we went from a good baby to like, oh my god, what is going on? So we looked into this thing called PANDAS. Uh, pediatric uh, autoimmune something something caused from strep. Um, I'm not sure of the name exactly, but it's called pandas. And it fit every symptom he had. It's a strep infection that instead of um, attacking the throat, it goes into your stomach or uh, in your uh, soft tissue or in your brain. For him, it was all neurological symptoms. And uh, yeah, so we're still trying to get that evaluated. Nobody wants to do it. They don't believe in it. They don't see it. it apparently, it's very hard to do. So I, I'm, I joined a group on Facebook. Yes. Yeah. And um, a lot of them are having the same problems. Like no doctor wants to look into it. They said, "Oh, it'll be fine. Your kid is just going through a rough phase." Blah blah blah. Yeah, I was searching for uh, pandas uh, uh, information on YouTube and. It was uh, Dr. Oz who made a segment about speaking about uh, pandas. And he had a doctor who knew about it uh, telling everyone that it's it's real. And it, it's... Uh, we noticed it. Day, yeah. Like day and night, one, to, one day to the other. So... He really seemed like he was possessed. Like he went from like, oh, I'm so happy to the next morning. Like I, I'm not there anymore. The only thing we could, uh, we knew that had happened was like, hey, he just had a strep infection. That was the only link between. Yeah, exactly. And a lot of parents are having the same issues. And there's a lot of documentaries that were done about it. 
And what's the one that we watched uh, recently? Uh, oh, I don't know what it's called. There's a documentary going yeah. around. Yeah, so it's a... Uh, you, you, you could probably find it if you search it. Uh, I don't remember the name of it. But, uh, yeah. It's uh, something to look into. And uh, it's a very important way to get strep treated properly when it happens. I was speaking to some people about it today. And they all said the same thing. That... You should always get tested for strep if you go see a doctor and they don't understand why they did that at children's hospital Like out of all hospitals So anyway guys, um, this vlog turned into two vlogs in one If you're in Canada or the US and you know anybody who will actually do uh, testing and treatment for pandas, let us know please uh, I want to have links uh, yeah, that's it for today and thank you guys for watching and keep watching.